right, so we need to get our static files working, and this is a good example of how it's not working. Uh, it's not that difficult to do, so open up Cyberduck, navigate into your static web app, so under web apps, MVP static, uh, and then go to your local files, go into static, and you're going to get templates, static, and media, not static only. I'll show you why in a moment. Pull this in over here. All right, so as that's uploading, it should upload in just a second. And there we go. So it looks like our files are in there. So our files are in there. And now what we want to do is a collect static. So we'll go into Python here or into our, um, our secure shell. And we'll do Python 2.7 manage.py collect static say yes and it collected stuff but let's go back into our static do a refresh ah we might have collected it in a weird spot and that's because we didn't actually set it yet um, so if we go into source it's probably gonna sh it might show up there and it does so if you see that that's because you didn't actually set it up so we can go ahead and delete that um, delete that admin folder and then let's go into our live settings file here. So just like what we did before, we wanna copy this whole thing right here. And we're gonna put that in settings. And then when we go live, we're gonna say if not debug, but for now we're just gonna use if debug. So go ahead and grab the template DIRS and put that up in a little bit. Okay, now in our terminal, let's change out of that directory and go into our MVP static app and we'll do PWD. All right, so copy this and this is gonna be our static root. Um, so it's gonna be right where we wanna have all of our files collected to, our static files collected to. So we'll go ahead and paste that there. And then in media root, we're gonna basically do the same thing but just add media to the end and then our static files DIRS. So where we're gonna actually upload our static files, we'll put it in a folder called static, and then make sure there's a trailing comma there. If there isn't a trailing comma, an error will show up. And then our last one, we put into templates. Okay, so now that we have this set up and we can upload this to our server now, so go into your MVP landing and make sure you grab live, um, make sure you're in where the settings files are and drag this over. All right. Now we're gonna change in from our secure shell, we're gonna change into MVP landing as well. And then we'll change into the source. And then we'll do Python 2.7 manage.py sync the database. Nothing should happen, so python 2.7 manage.py collect static, and we want to overwrite the files, and there we go. So now we have our files in where it should be, and if we check, we can go back into um, Cyberduck, go into web apps, then go into your static, and run a little refresh, and notice there's admin, CSS, JavaScript, and all that. Cool, so that is working now. And if we go back into Chrome and do a refresh here, our static files come through. Uh, that's great. So now what we need to do is we actually need to get our apps up and going. And back into our static files, we're gonna scroll up a little bit. Now our installed apps, we wanna install both South and um, signups. So go ahead and Go to your local file of settings and then go to your live file back to it. Installed apps, we wanna have south and signups. Okay, great. So save that. Go ahead and go back to Cyberduck. If you double click this, it'll re-upload it. Just hit continue to override it. And then let's go into our web apps, go into MVP landing, go to source, and we wanna drag our signups folder over. So this is our signups app, of course, and it's gonna 
do some stuff. And then what we want to do is we actually want to delete this migrations folder. So let's refresh, make sure we get all the data. Delete this migrations folder because that's our local migrations. Uh, going forward, you're not going to drag the entire thing over. You're just going to drag what you need or what changed. You'll drag that over and that's it. Um, so now we need to actually install south and you'd be tempted to do pip install south. Uh, I wish it was that easy, but it's one more step. You have to do easy install one or 2.7 for Python 2.7, easy install pip. And it's going to install pip for you into this library right here. If you don't see it go into that, then you're going to have to make that directory with make dir p and then home lib python 2.7. Um, that is if you don't see it going here, write that out. Okay, so um, now that we have pip installed, we can install south. So pip install south. And it's going to download and install south. Perfect. And so now we can, let's double check to make sure our settings file is up with these new things. Hit continue. And then in our terminal, we'll make sure we're in the root of the project where manage.py is. Do a python 2.7 manage.py and then sync the database. And those two things were synced. Looks good, so we'll do it again. Uh, but this time we're gonna do schema migration. Signups auto. Oops, made a mistake. So delete that migrations folder. It, it makes one, uh, so we needed to actually All right, so now that Okay, so notice that we need to change our signups into a south folder. So we'll do python 2.7 manage.py convert to south and we'll do signups. And there we go. So now it's a south folder. And if we do a sync DB again, we'll see that it's now managed by South. That's great. Um, next thing we need to do is upload our URLs file. So go into URL or MVP landing and then pull this URLs over. It's gonna upload it and we can do a, we wanna restart Apache. Right. And back into programmingforentrepreneurs.com. Let's hit enter. Ah, and there we go. So we now have our site up and working. This is great. And if we go into admin, we'll see admin. This is awesome. So we're we're just about there. There's a couple more things we want to do. So go ahead and copy your domain name. Go into your settings. Um, and under allowed hosts, we want to make sure that you have your domain names here. Uh, I already put mine in, but make sure that you do too. And then change debug to false, template debug to false, um, scroll down to if debug, hit none, if not debug, then we'll do that. Um, and then you also wanna have your email settings brought over to your settings file. So go ahead and copy all of this stuff. Um, put that up here where we had it before. Um, so we'll save it there and then make sure you drag this file up as well. So in MVP landing um, into your main thing here, we wanna go in and drag over email info and then the settings file one more time. All right. Restart Apache again. Okay, it's restarted. Now MVP landing is working. 
And if we go to some page that does not exist, it's gonna say it's not found. Uh, that means we need to have a 404 page, but let's see if our other pages are working. Cool, um, these work. Now the very last step in launching is going into our templates and going new file and doing 404.html and then another new file called 500.html and all I'm gonna do is extends base.html and then block content and block this is a 500 error we have been alerted to the server issue so that's what a 500 error is it means that there's something with the server that is incorrect and then a 404 error is you've reached a page that doesn't exist you've reached a page that doesn't exist Okay, let's save those, go back into our static app, and templates, let's get our templates for it. Grab these two things here, drag them into templates. All right, let's reset Apache, excuse me, restart Apache. And once it's restarted, there we go. Now we try that other page, and this is a 404 error. Um, of course, you could clean that up, um, but, but we're pretty much ready to go. And now this thank you page actually works. It's there. Um, so when they complete their pre-order, of course, you might want to go through this once just to try it out. Um, but once they complete their pre-order, that's going to go take them to where they need to go. And there we go. And one thing that I want to do for last good measure is actually add a video on this. So um, to kind of finalize everything, we'll do that in the next one. All right, see you then.